My name is Abhishek Jain and the topic I choose for this video is installing a Prometheus in a Linux standard way. I just created a Prometheus installation video there. I just simply explain how we can just download the package and how can we install, how we can just run the Prometheus executable straight away. But that is not the very standard way of doing, you know, the installation of any specific application which actually work, actually run as a server. Right, so I'm just gonna explain the standard Linux way uh, through which we can install a Prometheus. So I'm just starting from where I just left in the previous video and I'll just providing you know the link of the previous video in which I just explained the Prometheus installation and you can find out that in a comment section. So if you remember in the if you if if you would have seen my previous video, then this was the path. Uh, where I just install the basically download the package and untar the file and this was the uh, Prometheus and the prom tool these are two executables then we have a consoles and the consoles library we didn't discuss about those thing in the previous video so the standard way of you know uh, installing uh, any uh, any applications on Linux machine the best way is we should always put all the configuration file inside the ADC folder right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to get inside root. let me just take a root and if I just go to the ETC and this minus NTR, what I'm gonna do is whatever the configuration I have related to the Prometheus I will be creating a folder with name Prometheus Just gonna put the YAML file uh, which we discussed in the previous video inside this particular folder and whatever the data which we which Prometheus is going to create to store the data points which actually Prometheus stores in the time series database that we're gonna put in a var slash lib directory and that is where the Linux application puts the data right so the another thing which I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a user with any password here right so okay so I just created a Prometheus and let me just add this Prometheus in a sudo folder okay and if I just put Prometheus okay so it is a part of Prometheus and a pseudo group. Okay, so uh, this minus LTR. We have Prometheus folders created here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going here and saying Prometheus. that was the reason I was not able to find this folder and this minus LTR so the YAML file which we have is a prometheus.yaml so let me just copy this and we want to copy this inside this prometheus okay so let me just change So let me just take two. Okay, so if I just put chmod seven seven, it's not needed since I've already taken sudo then Prometheus Prometheus. Okay, that is done. The another thing which we want to copy is our console and a console libraries, right? So for that, what we're gonna do is cp minus r If I just 
just put the bottom because I just want to have some DR and no kind of bother to do. But this coming out and there's no inside DR and then see the Prometheus root root. So from setting up, uh, I think we are completely done. The only thing which is pending is to just come out from this as well. And I have to put these executables and executables usually stays in the user bin library, right? So let me just copy the main TS and I want to copy this to the user bin. this okay and I have the CP promo tool as well okay if I just go to user bin I just minus LTR okay Prometheus and prom it's a root root owner so let me just change the ownership Uh, okay so that's it so now i can run this prometheus as a complete command and for that if you will just put this prometheus as uh, help then you will see bunch of options and now to run this this is the command which you need and you have to run this with sudo So it's failed, make the by lab, permission denied. Oh. So if you will just see the command which I created. Oh man. So it is complaining that I don't have this warlip prometheus why because if you will see the command uh, warlip prometheus uh, for the storage tsdb path you can just check the, for the option so we have to create a make dir warlip then prometheus okay so if I just go there should be able to run that command fail client connection is closing permission denied okay so uh, let me just go there Prometheus. let's see it's a ownership ch mode let me just change this for all the users but you have to take care you have to just ensure that you are not running this with very open as I just to just explain you I just open this for everyone but you have to make sure that you are giving very limited access to all those folders and this is, seems to be the standard way of running the Prometheus right and if you will just go to the different machine and just put localhost 9090 on which this Prometheus runs then that is the way you can just install the Prometheus as a server in a Linux standard way so that's it from my side and if you have any feedback any comment or if you are not clear on any any concept which i used here